Hey guys, Ray from I Love RV. Uh, so over the years I've installed and reviewed quite a few gadgets that uh, use either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi as a connection to do adjustments to them and gather data. Um, I've uh, quite, quite a number now, so I thought I'd go through in this video and show you 15 that I'm currently using in my RV for various functions. So let's get to it. So the first thing on the list here is my Starlink internet dish that I'm uh, currently brought down to the US and I'm using for portability right now feature so I can connect to it and uh, see data about it, see data about my connection so we can see right now it's showing that I'm online I can do speed tests, um, set see the range of the Wi-Fi get statistics on it and it has the kind of debug, debug mode so I can see what might be wrong but you can see here um, it's showing possibly obstructed only four seconds since it's been on latency three throughput that sort of thing so it's one app that I use quite a bit on a daily basis next we have my EcoFlow power station and I use it all the time too so I can do adjustments to it and check on its capacity you can see right now it's 99 percent full I've actually just charged it up with solar today and I'm not using it at all I'll probably use it tonight I'm currently charging my other batteries but you can go through here and it's got adjustment settings for charge speed is one that I use all the time so I can adjust the different charge speed levels whether I'm using um, a generator to charge it or something else that's a handy app, works really well, has a really nice uh, screen on it for display purposes. I can upgrade the firmware using it as well. Any of these, I'm going to put links if you're interested in any of these apps, and you can go back and look at the, the actual reviews and installs. Um, now I have in my uh, back of my truck, I have a, a solar charger and a battery and a solar panel, and they actually keep a battery alive for my dash cam system. And uh, so to c connect to the solar controller, I use this uh, Charge Pro app. And we can see down here, connect. You can see all the different Bluetooths that are active right now. Connect to it, and then I can see the solar panel voltage, battery charging amperage and voltage, and what kind of wattage I'm getting. I just have a 100-watt panel, and it's sitting flat, so it's only getting about 50 watts. But that puts in enough in the battery to keep a, a parking mode for my dash cam. So we'll just next have a look at the battery that's in there. It's an AO lithium battery, 100 amp hour battery. Same deal, I have to search for devices and then when I see it in the list, I can choose it. There we go, and it'll connect to that. And I can see what kind of capacity right now. It's sitting at 54% and it shows temperature and the charge current and wattage that sort of thing as well. Next in the list we have what they call a home hawk window camera. On the back of my rig for a few years I've had a window cam. It's kind of nice, I can do time lapses of it, but also senses motion. So somewhere to someone to come around the RV, um, I, I would be able to see what was going on. I can also connect to this through the internet if I have it connected to my Wi-Fi here. So we can see motion at 2.23 p.m. I would just go to that. It will show the motion that happened. Let's just go back and pick person. Um, yeah, person. It's able to find the people in the, in the videos. So we'll go to that and load. So there you can see a little person there. So I can click that and it will go right there and see what that person was. We'll just let that play and then you can see me I was walking along there and that's the person that it picked up so it's a nice handy app I really like that window cam it works really well and I even can have it running when we're going down the road and it'll record behind me so that's kind of cool next we have the level mate pro and that's like a, an electronic leveler Let's see. We'll just hook to the Level Mate Pro here. I don't use it too much. I mainly use this if I'm if I'm out boondocking and I'm driving around and I actually want to see, try to find the most level 
position to put the the camper you can see right now we're sitting passenger side a little high and and we're, we're a little high on the nose um, but uh, usually when I actually go to level the rig and a pretty good leveler I don't really need to use this too much but when I'm moving it's kind of nice because as I move I can see the different levels and uh, there's all kinds of settings and setups to this thing I've had it quite a quite a while works pretty good and also you can set the hitch position so when you go to, to re-hitch you can uh, do that as well but I don't really use it I kind of 12 years with this same camper and now I've had this truck for four years I kind of know exactly where I, the, it needed, needs to be raised up to, to hitch properly but another gadget on the list uh, ambient weather is uh, and got me a weather station a couple of years ago and to replace one that I broke and blew off in the wind actually but this one is is kind of cool because it it will give uh, weather through the Wi-Fi and actually upload it to the internet um, I can actually share it with people if I want but that gives the outdoor, current outdoor weather right now in Celsius uh, the wind today's peak wind forecast for the next days rainfall gauge pressure gauge humidity all sorts of things this one's kind of neat solar radiation because it has a little solar panel on it and actually powers the outside unit but by that I can kind of see how much solar I'm going to get on my rooftop panels and you got indoor temperature the batteries in the outside thing and sun and moon and I can also go to charts and graphs this takes a second to load through the the Wi-Fi network here but it'll it'll show me over time what's happened with the outdoor temperature you can see the wind here it was not windy overnight but we had some wind in the morning and it's been calming down wind direction all sorts of interesting data so that also I can use in my web browser but it also goes through my phone through the Wi-Fi network uh, this thing that says KG is a Coolertron battery monitor that I that I reviewed and installed and played with back in the summer and uh, I think it's called a junk tech too there's all kinds of different names but actually I use this one right now I have a, a backup battery uh, for lithium batteries but I also have a backup battery that I'm testing out and it tells me the state of it you can see it's actually pretty low 18% because there was one day when I actually my main battery bank got pretty pretty far down due to cloud and rain so I used it so can kind of see what the state of charge is on that one next we have signal supervisor so I have a cell booster in here don't need it too often but uh, actually where we are right now we're behind a behind a hill so I actually find that I have been uh, using this booster let's see it's not quite connecting here come on there we go took a minute to connect but it'll tell me what kind of a uh, boost I'm getting performance wise on as long as if everything's status is normal or acceptable just a little bit more information on that booster but when I need it I need it you know I, I was calling out the other day and I couldn't call out turned on the booster and I was able to call out so that's really the situation that I that I need it for I don't need it much for internet anymore because of course we have that satellite dish now uh, next my tank monitors we've got the Mopeka uh, propane tank monitors so it does a pretty good job initially when I got it, it it failed because of moisture problems and they actually sent me a new one and then and then after I got that I put uh, some conformal coating on the boards um, just so moisture couldn't get in there and cause a problem it's been fine since it works pretty good not overly accurate but good enough for me to know like you can see drive side tank um, I just filled today and we've been running on the passenger tank you can see the batteries are getting a little low on that one and click into there and I can see I got 80 percent full so I can keep tab on my uh, propane tanks without actually go having to go out there and lift them up and kind of feel the weight uh, solar freezer I have a, a lion cooler it's called and uh, I use it uh, when I when I have extra food that I want to keep cold or when I'm on a, a grocery run that's a long way away I'll, I'll fire it up and plug it into the the car power socket and then I can uh, I can I can uh, use it for freezing but if I have it outside this apps a good thing for a for a 
checking it out. Looks like we're a little far away for that. I'll go out in a minute into the car and continue on here. I'm a little bit away from the truck, so it's not picking up that Bluetooth. But there was one more thing I wanted to show in here was my uh, main battery system monitor, which is a trimetric, and I have the Wi-Fi uh, app uh, device for it. So I have to switch over to a different Wi-Fi network to see that. And I can open this web page, and then it tells me the state of my battery, how much charge I'm getting, amp hours to full. And uh, I use this a lot with my DC to DC charger. I'll have this in the truck, and then I can see if that's turned on and working and what kind of amperage I'm getting and when I, when I don't need it anymore. Kind of a rudimentary app, but it works pretty good. So let's continue on. I'll just go out to the truck, and we'll, we'll, we'll do the Bluetooth driver, Thinkware Cloud, and the solar freezer. Okay, so yeah, here's the solar freezer. Tells me the temperature in the freezer. I can change the temperature like that. Um, set different uh, voltages for the battery. It has a, its own little lithium battery on it, so I can change that to see how low I, I'd want to draw it. Um, also has eco and max um, settings, and I can plug it into my uh, <clears throat> one of my portable power stations, or I can plug it into the truck. So. It is super handy little freezer for taking, especially to get groceries, but also it can be a fridge or a freezer. I can set it way down to minus four and then um, it will freeze things solid so I can have extra uh, frozen goods and, and keep them frozen with a little bit of power. It actually will run off a solar panel as well, so kind of a handy device. Uh, what else we got here? We got uh, Thinkware Cloud. Um, I have a Thinkware dash cam and uh, I can connect to its Wi-Fi network. There we go. So now I'm connected to it. I can check a live view on the camera. There's what we're seeing in the rear camera right now. And then I can switch to front camera. Just like so. But mainly I use it for just setting up the camera. Um, I can also quickly check on files that previously have been recorded. So we can go back here and go check on what's, what it saw in the past. Um, it has crash, crash tests, that sort of thing. You can see here we're driving to a boondocking spot. So it's kind of a, a nice dash cam, one of my favorites to think where. I actually might be doing a review on what's called a black view uh, a camera so stay tuned for that uh, I have a company that's going to send me out because I was interested because Thinkware and Blackview seem to be two of the big popular brands so going to check that out soon uh, next we have the blue driver which is a, a an onboard diagnostics port port thing for checking your codes and uh, things like that but I have it on the, the live view uh, I like to sometimes if I'm pulling heavy grades I like to to connect to the sensor and put it on live view. It's taking a bit. Sometimes it's a little flaky to connect to the thing. Yeah, so there you, you can see the live view. I have different exhaust gas temperature things. There's there's uh, different ones around the turbo and stuff. So if I'm pulling a grade, I can I can see if I'm, I'm getting a little too hot when you need to back off the throttle. With this RAM and this trailer, I usually don't need to. It never really gets to a high temperature. But interesting enough, I can tell if I'm doing a regeneration um, of the emission system because all of a sudden one of them will go really hot when it's uh, I'm doing a regen on the, the exhaust emissions. So that's mainly what I use just to monitor things. But it does have a scan tool. I can go through and read codes. I can clear codes, that sort of thing. And they do different things like video you know, info on your vehicle, that sort of thing, and uh, some service tips. So it's kind of a cool little uh, gadget. Help me out if I if I ever have any problems, I'll be able to go in and, and read a code. And the final gadget on the list is called an Active Start. And this one I actually haven't done any uh, review. I just got this recently to uh, review and I haven't done it yet, so I'm still playing around with it. So it's kind of a tease. It'll be coming up shortly. But it's a surge protector 
for the RV that plugs into my 30 amp cord and it also has a built-in soft starter so I may be able to be able to fire my air conditioner with my inverter or my generator or maybe that EcoFlow box I'm gonna have to do some tests there but interesting little gadget there's other ones on the market I think micro air and something called soft starter but this is sort of a a newer one to hit the market so they asked if I do a review and I said sure but it's got a Bluetooth app with all its different settings stuff like that so stay tuned in the future for that um, everything else so the other 14 I have done reviews and install videos so if any of them perked your interest uh, just go to the video description or the blog post and I'll have links back to the the initial articles and videos on that till next time Ray from Love Your RV cheers everyone